trainer tip. We are gonna go over form this month. Now, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different uh, depending upon what you're trying to work, like what muscles you're trying to work, what prior injuries you may have, your functionality, your mobility of your body. But today we're gonna go over squat form. So there's a few different types of squats. You have a regular squat, which is feet right under those hips. You have a wide set squat, and then you have a sumo squat. So we'll go over all three in the different variety of these. I hope you enjoy my Halloween pants. So, because it is spooky season, it's September. Uh, so, <laughs> your squat. So we'll start with the regular. So you have your feet right under your hips, right? Here's my hips, my feet are in line, although you can't see my knees, they are right there. What you wanna do is you want to screw your feet into the ground. Now you can see in my pants, they're moving because that externally rotates, so it rotates outward my knees. Now from there, I'm going to shift my weight so that it's on my heels rather than on my toes. And then I'm sitting back in my chair, keeping that rotation. Notice how my knees are staying even. They're not in, they're not out. And on my way up, they're also not wavering in or out. So from the side view, again, I'm doing all those things. I'm twisting my toes in, my heels, my weight is in my heels, and I'm coming down to that full depth for me, which is here. Now, because I have very long legs and a very short torso, my chest dips down a little bit more than some. Some people will want your chest to stay up here. It's going to depend on your body mechanics. If you have longer legs, your chest is gonna be more forward. If you have shorter legs, it's not, okay? The thing we want to avoid is this right? We just don't want this right here. Um, we still want chest up to the best of your ability, like I said. Um, if for some reason hips or knees are feeling a little weird on that, you would just take a slight step to the outside. My toes right now are still pointing straight, but instead now I'm going to slightly turn them out. I'm still going to externally rotate. So I'm screwing my feet into the floor for that external rotation. So my knees are still going to stay over and in track. Um, you may have heard before that your knees should never go over your toes in a squat. That is not true as long as your knees track. So if your knee is going, so say you're going down and my knee's going to go over my toe. Notice how I got kind of a little wobbly there. If my squat is here and my knees are straight and my foot is here, that is not tracking properly. So you would not then go that low. But otherwise, we're still doing the same exact things as that initial squat. We're keeping the chest up. We're still feel heavy, externally rotating those knees, screwing our feet to the ground, keeping the core engaged. Again, my slightly turned out. You're going to have a little bit more engagement. Notice I can go a little bit lower on that squat than my feet together squat. So kind of what you want to work. If you're here, it's going to be a lot more quad focus, right? When we're a little bit more turned out, now we're getting, we're still getting quad, but now we're also going to get a little bit more knee stabilization. We're going to get a little bit more hamstring. We're going to get a little bit more glute. Now, if we go sumo, which is that super wide toes turned out again, we are making sure again that we are externally rotating. So right now my knees are facing forward. I'm rotating those out so that they track correctly over my ankles. They're tracking, right? and I'm able to go down. This is going to be your more hamstring, inner thigh, glute. Ooh, probably heard that pop. Um, squat. It's going to depend. Now, what sometimes I see a lot is people with their toes still pointing forward in this, which you don't want. You want those toes out. You want those knees to track. Think of pressing out. I can already feel that in my glutes. Um, and again, you're going to go to depth which is 90 degrees, whatever that is for you, but you wanna watch knees coming forward. You wanna keep them out and then back up. You never want your knees to turn in. So from that frontal view, you never want this to happen. Keep your knees tracking over your ankles, over your toes. So that is kind of how to do a squat. You can do any of the three and try them out if you have Knee issues, you're gonna do more of your wider stance squat or your sumo squat rather than your feet directly under hips. However, I will tell you that one is the best to help with knee rehabilitation. 
um, because it does give you that stabilization. So as long as you have a stable knee, you should be able to do whatever squat like at all ever. Um, so that would be something that we would work on in class over time to get better at your squat form. If you have any questions on squat form, comment below.